I'm Amy from Amy's Beach Fitness. Today I'm doing a 35 minute bar workout that you can do at home. Dumbbells, a ball, and a resistance loop band, and a chair, or a countertop. So here we go. So arms, your, your wide feet, your feet are facing forward. Tummy is engaged. Here we go. Breathe out when the weights come up. Two more. One. And two. Drop down. Your feet are still wide. Get in your top. Heavy tailbone, hip bones, hip bones forward. Up hold. Up hold. Up hold. Tightness in those arms. Let the weights rest in your palms if you can. Up hold. Up hold. Up hold. Breathe out when those weights come up. All right, now we're gonna double time. So it's up hold, up hold, down, down. Focus, up hold, up hold, down, down. Five more rounds. One, follow my pace. And two, and three, Drop back down, elbow kisses, pause, and open, and up, and down. Together, pause, open, up, and down. Pause, open, up, and down. Open, up, and down. Two more. Together. One more. Left leg actually is going to be up, right foot is going to be down, right knee is going to be slightly bent. I want your foot in point. Really nice deep bend in your elbows. Up hold. Up hold. Up hold. Find a focal point when you're doing balance work. When you do bar, unless I say to pick up the pace, it is pretty controlled and slow movement. Key with balance. Focal point. point core is very engaged and slow up the exercise. Change your foot to flex. Same thing with the arms. Really, really, really tightening up on the lift. Five more. One and two and three and four and stretch it out. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Make sure that left knee is slightly bent. You're going to start to point with your foot. Up hold. Up hold. Up hold. Core is engaged. Please don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Three more. One. And two. Three, change your foot to flex, same thing, up, hold. Breathe. And five more, stay with it. One, don't put it in your neck. Two, and three, and four, and five. Ooh, I almost fell over on that one. Stretch it out. We're gonna get some triceps. I'm gonna face this way so you can see my foot flat back. Actually, get those elbows really, really, really up high. And you're going to keep them up. Tricep kickbacks. Core is engaged. We'll do six of these. Two. Pause. Right there on the out. Three. Four. Five. Six. Now, thumbs are down on your waist and you're lifting an inch. Pause down. Focus triceps. Tighten those arms. Follow my face. We're going to do 15 starting now. One, two, three, and four. Tummy is in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13. Stay with it. We're almost there. 14. And shake it out. Oh, wow. Okay, I want to do one more. 
We're actually going to balance on this. So you're going to bend to your elbow. You're going to just down palm, up palm, down palm, up palm. So let's start now. Left leg is going to be out here in point. Supporting leg, right knee, getting your top, and it's up. You're going to lift the leg up, up the, lift up of the weights. Up, take a bounce. Up, up.
engaged. Six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Ooh. Stretch in a second. Okay, we're gonna slowly roll up. Actually, before we go to all fours, really, 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 really nice posture. So obviously we don't have a chair, but act like there's a chair back and it's supporting your back. Core is tight, keep the band where it is. I always like to be on my fingertips. So we're gonna start working with the left leg. Foot's gonna be actually in flex and you're gonna do a half circle. So the higher that you go with the leg, the more you're gonna be working it. Now, once again, you don't have to have a band. And if you also don't wanna to touch your heel to the ground, you don't have to. It's gonna make it harder if you don't touch, but do what feels right. Breathe, this is very challenging. It works the hip flexors. And obviously, because it's only a 35 minute video, you can add more reps to these exercises if you want. When I'm teaching my hour class in my studio, when I'm able to get there, we do very, very high reps if we have more time. All right, two more. One. See, my posture is very good. Two. And rest. You're going right to the other side. You'll have a side that does seem easier. Actually, right now, my left side was much easier than my right. So that's telling me that my hip, my right hip is tight. So what I will do is give that side special attention. I have a roller that I spend a lot of time on in, in rolling out my body. It does help. Tight core. Oh, five more, breathe. One. And two. And three. And four. Last one. And five. And I want you to do this. Quads to chest. Five seconds. One, just fall up. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly come up. Turn over. We're going to be on all fours here. Okay, keep the band on if you have the band. If you're tired, you can take the band off. And if you don't have a band, it's okay. I want your fingers to be wide on your mat, spread out. You're gonna be on all fours, hips are square. We're actually gonna open up hip. We're gonna go right into opening up our hip. Left leg is gonna come up and open. So my foot is flexed, my core is tight. My right leg, knee is not dipping to the right. So I'm pausing on my lip lift. My left knee is very, very bent. Lift, lift, and pause on the lift. 10 more, follow my count. One, and two, and three. Tummy is tight. Four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Now I want you to hip square. The knee is still very bent. The foot is not up to the ceiling, it's angled. So if it was up to the ceiling, it would look like this. I'm really flexing it, but it's, a dip. it's not going straight up to the ceiling. Remember, pausing right there, 10 slow, ready, go, one. Stay in flexed foot, core is tight. Two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Oh, it's hard. Seven, stay with this, stay with your breath. Eight, and nine. I'm gonna add a spin on this. Supporting leg knee, you're gonna lift up. Leg is gonna come out and point and do 20 lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is very advanced. Twelve. 
13, 14, 15, uh, 17, 18, 19. Stretch back. Very advanced. You do not have to lift the knee off. I, knee up. I just want to do, put a little thump into it. Cool. Okay. Now, guess what? We have the other side to do. So I'm going to turn around. Ooh. We did flexed foot. We're going to open that hip up. Remember, fingertips are spread out. Don't let your left leg now dip to the right. Don't, don't let it lift, dip to the other direction. We're going to keep your quad straight out. Okay. Open the hip. Foot is flexed, and the knee is bent. Up, hold. Focus on the hip and side of the glute. Okay, follow my count. Starting now, 10 slow. One, and two, three, four, five, Six, breathe. Core is engaged. Seven and eight. Nine, ten. Our hips are square. Remember, the foot is not straight up to this moment. It's flexed. And you are lifting. Oh, it's great loop. So, right now, where I'm feeling this on my working leg, which is my right leg, where the upper hamstring and my glute meet, that is where I'm feeling. In this area, um, it's an area that's very, very hard to keep tight. As we all age, we lose our lack of some elasticity. Um, but this exercise right here, you know, if there's any exercise you can do to keep your butt rounded, this is it. Okay, five more. Ready? One, two, five on my count. Core is engaged. Three and four. Okay, here it goes. Five. Now, if you want to get off that left leg, knee, 20 lifts. One, two, three. My foot's in point four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Push. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Stretch back. Oh, gosh. Okay. Just keep the bands on. It's not going to matter. We're going to just do some push-ups real quick. Um, last week, I think when I shot on whatever day it was Friday, we started midway. We're going to go deep. I'm going to stay on my knees and do it. You can do them in plank guy push-ups. What this is going to look like is the band isn't really going to do anything right now. I just don't want to take time to take it off. So, wide hands. I have like my pinkies off the mat. My fingertips are open. My knees are wide. Dropping my hips. Now, I'm going to stay low. In the lowest part, I'm going to go really, really deep into my push-up, but I'm going to stay deep. We're going to do 30. So, it looks like this. One. And two. Pausing on the lift. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you have to stretch back, go for it. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Pretty advanced move. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10 more. One, two, three, four. Uh, six, uh, eight, 29, 30. Stretch back, very advanced move, especially if you were able to stay deep. Slowly come up. Um, take your band off now as you stand up. You can either use a chair, you can use a countertop. We're just going to use our bodies for now, okay? So, I'm using my little stool here. Oh, it's tough stuff, man. We're gonna go really wide. And actually, you don't need to use anything if you have really good balance. But what I wanna start with is really, really wide legged. And you're gonna have your toes angled out and you're gonna get in your top. You're gonna make a circle with your arms, fingertips are wide, up, hold. 
up, hold. So right now, I'm not just making a circle with my arms, tighten the arms. Stay in top. Three more, we're gonna do double time. One, two, three. We're gonna pick up the pace for 40, follow my count. One, two, three, four. Still pausing on the lift. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, here's halfway, 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, more tummy in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you're gonna use your chair or your ledge. You go in second position, round leg up, start high. One, two, stay in top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna drop an inch, slow it up for 10. Follow my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, drop lower, fast, double time. One, for 22, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, drop down, 10, slow, one, two, you're shaking, you're shaping, four, One more drop, double time quick for 21, two. I'm gonna try to let go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, get me out, 18, 19, and rest. Ooh, stretch. Wow. Okay. Now, I'm trying to think the best way. I'm going to actually show you the move sideways, and then I'm going to move my chair. We're going to do some lunges. Now, typical lunge, as we all know, is like this, okay? But this lunge, you're going to, feet and legs are going to be closer together. So, I'm actually going to be on my tippy toe with my left foot forward. Now, you can't get as deep as me, that's okay. But see how tight I am? Both of my legs actually look like a capital L. My arms are going to be out long. I'm going to put resistance into my arms. Now, this is me without my tuck. Watch my hips. This is me with my tuck. Right there, the, oh, the upper, upper, upper quad. Holy heck. You're going to stay in tuck. Okay, keep the feet and you're going to. Uphold, 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 stay in top, up. Closer to the ground, that knee that you can is great. 10 more, one, two, three, stay in top, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, I'm gonna do that back leg. Stay in releve, and you're going to come up, and then you're going to come down. Round the back, chin to chest, two second hold, engaging your core. Ten of these, this is three. One, two, this is four. This is five. This is six. Seven. Mm. Top exercise. Eight. Heart rate gets high. Nine. Shin to chest. One more. Rest. So my heart rate, just by that exercise, is at 159. 
So I'm gonna go to the other side. So, right foot's gonna be forward now, it's gonna be hollow bag, left foot back, and in your tuck, 20 isolated lunges. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, oh, 14, stay with it, 15, not easy, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, stay here all day with your right foot, and we're gonna lunge back, chin to chest, two second hold, round the back, chin to chest, two second hold, 10 of these, that's one, two, Engage in that core, guys. Core work here. Three. Arms stay long. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, okay, guess what? Ab time. Now, your ball, if you don't have a ball, it's fine, you do this on your elbows, I'm actually gonna be. So this is gonna be different. You're gonna put it in the center of your back. Oh, I gotta find that sweet spot. Really find that sweet spot. So you're, you're gonna make sure your core is totally engaged. And you're gonna be flexed feet. You're gonna find that sweet spot. Hold on. Okay. I'm actually gonna hold on to my mat. Chin to chest. Really holding it here. 20 of these. Four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm ready to give up, but I'm not going to be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, very, very, very difficult. Okay, Just go onto your back. Have your ball in between your knees for resistance. You're just gonna squeeze the ball or no ball. Maybe you guys have one of your cookie mommies doing this right now, any of your kids' little balls that they play with. So you're gonna constantly, your flat feet, constantly squeeze the ball. We're gonna do Somewhat quick in the beginning, open, open elbows, 20 crunches up, two, three, four, spine into the mat, seven, eight, nine, 10, squeeze up all of them, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, same thing, 10 slow, two second hold on the lift, one, one, down, two, two, down, three, three, down, squeeze that ball, four, four, down, five, five, down, breathe, six, six, down, seven, seven, down, eight, eight, down, spine into the mat, Nine, nine, down, ten, ten, down. Right arm, you're gonna direct it over. Right hand is gonna go on the outside of your left knee, supporting the head with your left hand. See, I'm going up two inches, pausing, coming down two inches. Pausing two inches, or two inches up, pausing two counts. Down, up two inches, pausing, come down. Five more, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, two, three, three, four, four. Good obliques. Five, five. Switch sides. Right knee behind your elbow. Hang ahead. Two second hold. So focus on your obliques. Cupcake area. My daughter Maddie was so cute the other day. She was like, what's cupcake? area. I said, well, when you put jeans on, and I'm not a big jean girl, but it's that excess skin. I hate to use the word fat, but it's just excess that hangs over your pants. And she goes, oh. And I said, I like to call it cupcake because cupcakes are prettier. Okay, five more. One, one. Focus. Two, two. Squeeze that ball. Three, three, spine into the mat. Four, four, and three, five, five. Okay, wow. Whew. Legs up, keep that ball between your knees. Okay, hands are gonna be down. If you don't have a ball, don't worry about it. Hands are gonna be down. Two second hold. You're gonna come down. Tap your toes onto the mat. Two second hold, squeeze that ball. Calm down, make sure the ball doesn't hit in your face. Two second hold, squeeze that ball. Come down to the mat, let your toes just tap. Two second hold, five more because this is one, one, three, two, two. <sighs> Pretty advanced move, do what you can. Three, three. <sighs> Squeeze the heck out of that ball. Here we got one, four, four. That's five, five. Very advanced move. Now, oh, we are actually gonna hold on to the ball and we're gonna my ball is, I put way too much air on these things, I'm mad at myself, but the right hand, you're gonna hold the ball if you have one. Legs are gonna be up, constantly squeezing. I'm gonna take my right hand towards my left shoe, putting, putting, I'm squeezing my ball, little crunches, 21, two, kind of fast, three. Look what my right foot is doing, five, six, seven. It's right now I'm feeling this on my right side of my, my right obliques. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, switch. Okay, here goes, we did probably 25. One, two, by the time I said 20, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come up. Okay, this is called the pretzel move. Pretty advanced, it's a lot of flexibility, range of motion. Okay, ball is done. Hardest is gonna be here. You're gonna have your shin facing forward. The leg is gonna be lifting. I like to have a flex foot, up hold. The farther you go back, the harder, but you want to keep your body in alignment. So here, this is the, this is the hardest version. Three, pausing on the lift. Four, five, oblique, six, right here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then go out with your leg, then come back. Out, just three of these, point, flex, point, Flex. Oh, wow. Other side. I know we're almost there. 35 minutes. We're almost there. Flex. So this is the last exercise. Two. Pausing on the lift. Three. Four. Act like there's a string lifting the side of your knee up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Leg out long. Point. Flex. Don't drop it. Point. Flexed, one more point. Flexed. Oh. Bar is 
a lot, a lot of mental strength is all I can say. And it was only 35 minutes when I teach in my studio, it's an hour, but I will say, it will change your mind, your life, your body, keep you calm, keep you centered. It's probably the most favorite thing that I teach. I'm Amy from Amy's Beach Fitness, and until next time, everyone have a wonderful self-care-filled day.